Hold on. Hold on. Yes! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is update day on Halo Infinite, and at long last, over two years later, 343 has added new community BTB maps into the game. I cannot believe it took over two years to get community made maps into Halo Infinite, but they are here, and I gotta say, they are amazing. Now, I don't say that lightly, but I put them through their paces today, and they all play incredibly well. They all feel like Halo maps, and that's saying something. A massive shout out has to go to all of the Forgers who put these maps together, because one, they look great, two, they play great, and three, you guys are in for a treat. There is so much awesome stuff for me to do on these new maps. Now, what makes a good BTB map? Well, for starters, it has to be good for infantry, vehicles, and both need to be viable without being overpowered and mesh well together. The maps also have to be open enough that it feels like big team warfare, something the Halo Infinite dev made BTB maps didn't do very well. They were always so closed and cramped. It made vehicle play very, very claustrophobic. Look how big these maps are. These new ones are massive. Plenty of routes for warthogs, air vehicles, and the maps are wide enough for tanks. I can't count how many times I've been playing the regular BTB maps. I'd have a Wraith or a Scorpion, and they would barely fit through the laneway of the map because they're that cramped. That issue is now gone. The number one thing I've noticed with these brand new maps is that every single playstyle is supported. You can play any way you like and they feel like proper Halo BTB maps. That's incredible. The only downside I have with this update, and it's a really easy thing I'm surprised 343 got wrong again, is that everybody wants to play the new maps. Why aren't they in their own playlist? 343, you guys have the new BTB Unlimited playlist. This would have been perfect for that. Why put it into the other BTB playlist and then people have to play the old maps? Whenever I loaded up the old maps, I would notice a lot of people would just quit right off the start, and I don't blame them because they want to play the new content. I was playing with Eli today when he was streaming. We got Fragmentation, High Power, and then Scar, three or four maps in a row without any of the new ones. I set it for the Winter Contingency event, the Christmas event we just had. You had a snow version of Live Fire, and there were some people in the entire Christmas event who didn't play the new map. This is really easy stuff to get right, 343. When there's new content, you guys did it with the Illusion playlist, the new 4v4 map we got last week, put the new content in its own playlist. The only other problem I had with the playlist, and it's a persistent issue since the game came out, if you have one teammate in the enemy base for Capture the Flag, the enemy team will pretty much respawn on your side of the map. I really wish 343 would look into this as it makes objective-based mode it's very unfair but it's something I noticed. Now, something very cool about these new BTB maps, something we haven't seen a lot of, and that's teleporters. Throughout all the Halo games, teleporters have been a mainstay, especially in BTB maps. These new maps have teleporters everywhere, and there's something really special about the ones on Thunderhead. They can teleport vehicles. So you can grab a vehicle, whether it be a Banshee, a Chopper, a Ghost, go through the teleporter, and it takes you to the top of the tower. Now this is going to be very mint blitz, but I'm totally going to launch off the top of that tower and land on someone and splatter them. If anyone gets a clip like that, send it to me on Twitter. But that is so Halo. That is the type of thing that makes a map very memorable. It's the reason why people like the Spire from Halo Reach. Imagine if you get a Heavies version of it and you get a Scorpion tank and you fly it off the edge. That is going to be so much fun. Now that is not all we got today. As 343 has finally fixed the ranked playlist on Halo Infinite, it took them long enough. And a lot of people were asking for the ranks to be reset so everyone can get to their correct rank. But it's finally matching people on CSR again. Again, which is their visible rank, hooray, but it's still balancing teams on the hidden rank you can't see. So if you play well in Husky Raid or BTB or one of the modes where you get lots of kills and then you go to ranked, you get pretty bad team balancing. 343 was also getting roasted today as they got caught using AI art on the new Halo MCC nameplate. I wouldn't have even been able to spot it. I'm not an artist, but people were saying, I'll put it up on screen now, that the new nameplate was made by AI. Finally today, and the Halo Wars fans are going to be very, very happy, the weekly challenge which means it's free to get is the Jerome coating, adding the red color scheme to the Mark IV armor core. It is cross core, so it's on every core. So if you want to cosplay as Spartan Jerome, you now can. 
So there you have it guys. For the first time in over two years, we finally have brand new community made BTB maps on Halo Infinite. They are beautiful, they play great, and I think they're gonna be fan favorites with the community. Big shout out to the Forges again, because they are fantastic. I really hope 343 sees what these Forges have done, and in future, when they make big team battle maps, they see the openness of these maps and incorporate that into their own developer made maps. Let me know what you think of the update down in the comments below. It's the first real substantial update we've had in a while as only having one 4v4 map and heaps of stuff in the store just wasn't cutting it. So thank you all for watching, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.